changing right now. We're, a thunderstorm is moving right over the capital. However, let's just enjoy the, the good situation we're in right now for a little break. Uh, not really looking at much in the way of bad flooding, although the damage was done from last week, and we're not looking at major fires here just yet. 83 degrees, that's the latest reading, but I can tell you if you probably went outside right now, anywhere around Helena, it'll be down into the 70s because of a good little thunderstorm that's moving right overhead. Great Falls looks nice right now, but there is a big thunderstorm off towards the southwest that is making a beeline right towards the electric city. How about 86 degrees? The current temperature there. You can see the numbers in the 80s, almost 90 in Haver. A little cooler around West Yellowstone, uh, Kalispell, Missoula, and Cup Bank in the 70s. And with some thunderstorms in the area, uh, we've got a few areas of some higher wind gusts. Flood warning. All right, where is it? Well, that's a good thing that we can't really see because remember last week at this time we had a whole bunch of counties under flood warning, especially Lewis and Clark, Teton County, Cascade County. But right now the only spot looking at a flood warning on the Missouri River, it's at Landusky. It's crested. We're at minor flooding and it will continue to recede on the radar. Seeing some thunderstorms popping up here in the western part of the state, especially that one that's moving right up again through Wolf Creek over to around Craig. A lot of lightning strikes with that storm right there. First go though into the capital and there's that little downpour that just came through. Looks like up Grizzly or Fino Gulch. We've got a couple of uh, heavier areas of rain there through Elliston heading towards Great Divide over through around Garrison. Another big mean thunderstorm south side of Lincoln just got hit and here it is moving northeast from Wolf Creek right now up to around Cascade. It's really dark right now in Cascade. A lot of lightning. That is a, a, just a deadly situation with the amount of lightning strikes there. And some hail could be impacting anybody driving on Interstate 15. Up here near the Sweetgrass Hills around Chester, a couple of big thunderstorms have developed and are moving off towards the northeast. Not much else besides this little area of thunderstorms coming through, but you know, sometimes a little area of thunderstorms can pack a pretty mean punch, a pretty big punch, because we've got those storms that will continue to move through the north central part of the state here tonight. Great Falls, maybe another half hour, 45 minutes that will come through, and then the storms will move up through Lewistown and Haver uh, later this evening after about dark. By tomorrow morning, though, most of the wet weather is out of here. Tuesday looks like a beautiful Beautiful early summer day for just about everybody here in the state and nice weather here on Wednesday. Two days in a row, if you count today even with some nice weather, it'll be about three and a half days in a row of, of a pretty good stretch here for Montana. There you can see Wednesday mostly sunny. Our next chance of rain will come in on Thursday. Lows tonight down into the 40s for most locations, so a comfortably uh, cool night here for tomorrow. Showers early moving out of the eastern part of the state. A very nice day. It doesn't get much better than this as far as I'm concerned. Mostly sunny skies will be in the 70s. A little element of wind and things are slowly drying out, but still a nice day tomorrow. Wednesday will be another very lovely day right around 75 to 80 degrees for many locations. Thursday there will be thunderstorms coming back into the picture here with temperatures falling once again below average and Friday it's a showery stormy cloudier cooler day not an all day rain event but does look like uh, we go back to maybe more of a spring like a couple of days here for Friday heading into the weekend. Here's the seven day forecast for the capital. So some storms around here for the next couple of hours. 78 degrees for tomorrow's high 83 on Wednesday. Storms likely Thursday afternoon and evening and then Friday, Saturday, possibly into Sunday. A very similar situation to what we just had over the last few week, a uh, couple of days here through the weekend. And then for the electric city, watch out for that big Big storm moving to right around town, south side of town, maybe here over the next half hour to an hour. Nice though for Tuesday, for Wednesday. It gets a little wet on Thursday. And then there you can see the cooler weather once again, Friday and Saturday. But I'm going to try to look at the glass, the pint glass half full here <laughs> and say that we're continuing to push back the fire danger yes. a little bit. Good for all of us. Yes, definitely. which is, yeah. All right, thanks, Curtis. Now, Andy Curtis is here. We're headed to Great Falls to talk a little baseball. That's right. There is not typically a lot of Treasure State talent on the Pioneer League teams, but that is not the case with the Great Falls Voyagers. 